Simon Says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to use color scales in Excel. In Excel, when dealing with large amounts of data, you can customize the data using conditional formatting and adding visual effects to the data set, making it easy to compare, contrast, and understand the data easily. This can be done with the help of color scales in Excel. Color scales are gradient differentiation within a cell that helps the user identify the range the data falls into. The color scales represent the minimum point, midpoint, and maximum point, respectively. Let us see how to use Excel color scales with an example. First, select the cells to which you want to apply color scaling. You can select a range of cells, particular tables, or even the whole sheet. Navigate to Home. Under the Style section, click on the drop-down from Conditional Formatting and select Color Scales. Excel offers a total of 12 default color scales. Among them, six are two color scales and the other six are three color scales. When you hover over them, you can see the preview of the color scales and their description. Once you click on the color scale, they get applied to the selected data. This is a quick and efficient way to assign the color scales to the selected data that will help you understand the data easily. Though choosing the default color scales is a fast and easy way to highlight different values. What if you want a specific color mapped to a particular range of values or change the color scheme? Let us see how to customize the values and color scales based on user conditions. To customize the conditions and color scales, first select the cells. Then navigate to the Home main menu. Under the Styles section, click on the drop down from Conditional Formatting. Extend the Color Scale section and click on More Rules. This opens the New Formatting Rule dialog box. In the dialog box, under the Select a Rule Type, Click on Format All Cells Based on Their Values. Under Edit the Rule Description, click on the drop-down from Format Style. From the Type drop-down, you can change the nature of the values. From the Value Text box, you can either select the cells or enter the values manually. In this case, let us select the Type as Number and enter the values manually. Finally, from the Color drop-down, choose the color schemes of your choice. You can see the transition of color based on the highest to lowest value from the preview option. Once you click OK, the customized color scale will apply to the selected cells. After applying the color scales to the data, you might sometimes not want the color scales in the selected cells. In such cases, you can choose to remove them using the below given method. First, select the cells from which you want to remove the color scales. Navigate to the Home tab. Click on the drop-down from Conditional Formatting. Extend the Clear Rules option and click on Clear Rules from Selected Cells. If you want to remove the color scales from the whole worksheet, click on Clear Rules from Entire Sheet. This instantly removes the color scaling from the selected cells. That is all, everyone. Color scales in Excel are a great way to visually represent the data for the user to understand quickly. In this video, we saw how to add color scales in Excel, and we also saw how to remove them. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.